Hey, I'm Cousin Ed, stuck in some tent at Woodstock 99 with Westwood One, but not just any tent, because uh, Ed from Live is in this tent. So, welcome to our tent, man. Thank you for having me. Welcome to uh, Woodstock 99. Oh. Uh. I gotta say, first off, Ed is a very easy name to spell and pronounce. It's true, and that's we have that in common. I'm don't not going we, with your last name, man. It brings back childhood See, yeah, memories. See, it's, it's all about contrast. See, I set that up. I actually, that's my stage name. Kowalczyk. No, that's my real name. I, I had some old, when I grew up, some guy named Craig, same last name. He used to beat me up, so I, I won't hold that against you, though. Are you feeling a bit of deja vu? I am. I mean, because you guys did Woodstock 94, now you're doing another Woodstock? Absolutely. I mean, when Live was asked to play this one, you know, sometime in the spring, and uh, we were right in the thick of making our new record, The Distance to Here, which comes out in October, shameless plug. Distance to Here, all right. Um, we got the call, and just immediately 100 percent yes we'll be there um it 94 had a had a really strong impact on our band i mean it's it's sort of as i look back on the 90s it was the it was a moment in live's career where we connected with so many people that day that the next six months just totally blew the roof off our lives you know and we we're just uh happy to be asked again it was a special moment 94 in your life as well because there was somebody special in the crowd. Is is that it's the way true. it happened? This I mean, is true. My my future wife, who didn't know me yet, right. was in the crowd in '94, and um, was she a spectator? Was she working? She was um a yeah pizza working. Girl? Yep, she was, pizza? and and she she saw me, and we didn't know each other at all at right. all. And three months later, we met. How did she? Uh, how did she so find that you like, that day? Hey, that's a good concert, right? What Woodstock '94? I think it's probably best for you. And we met in a yeah we met in a bar like three months later and. I've been married almost two years. So did you see her at Woodstock 94? You saw her oh, in the no. bar and she said, no. I saw you at Woodstock 94. She's the first time like, you know, she actually saw Live was at the, Wood at the Woodstock show. Any other uh, members of Live uh, expecting to meet some ladies of, in the audience? Well, we're all married now. Oh. So, you know, it's like no more wives can be gotten. But because we're all set on that tip. I was going to escort you over to that. There's a, there's a booth out there. I don't know if you've seen it, but there's a booth out there that they're calling like the third stage where they're just airbrushing women's breasts. Hey. Now, I'm sure when you're up on stage, you probably saw a few Gotta of get those. Go. You're leaving now. I'm going with you. That happens, <laughs> man. I'll be your escort. I don't know. Stage right today had some beautiful things going on with it. Things? You know, just Painted I, things? I mean, or? I, I, yeah, I'm a painter. So so you were, you were in it for I the art. I have a reason for... You know, I, I gander down there. I'm getting, I'm getting ideas for my nudes. Nudity is an art. It's an art form, man. I'm not perverted. I'm just cultured. <laughs> once a philosopher, twice a pervert. So, so I look uh, once. Uh, Your set <laughs> phenomenal. What percentage of it was new? I mean, how, how, it was every all the new stuff we hear no. going to be on the new CD. Um, yeah, we we open with a song called "Where Fishes Go," um, which is about number I don't know somewhere midway through the new album, and then we played a song called "The Dolphins Cry." Right. Um. The entire record is not about water, but just happens so that we played two songs that were having water vibe I tonight. Was actually uh, reading a few things that the CD was about love, love and water. It's all about the, the love of water, love and water and love of water. Oh, on a personal note, love. You know, since we're at Woodstock, it's about love. You know, do do you feel that you know two people have to have the exact same beliefs, likes and dislikes in order for love to work? Oh, well, um, more than two. We're hoping it for at least four or five, because yeah. four or five people can change the world dramatically. Do you? Uh, are there any rules to love? Rules? No rules. Not just Ed, Ed, Ed rules. No rules, man. I, I mean, we're saying my yeah. name, but go ahead. No rules for love. Love is in here, man. And exactly. when you open this, it just comes out. It's its own thing. We don't have to do anything with it. There's no mold. You can't just, it just this is what I'm looking for, and I'm going to go find it, because then you never will. There's a big old well of it, and all you got to do is drill through that thing, and it pours out. Are you planning to roam around Woodstock 99 I am. now and see the crowd? And I'm and going to the airbrush but, uh, booth <laughs> after this. But, you're going um, to feel like you're in a, like a strange episode of Gomer Pyle, you know, with all the, the Air Force Base and the barracks. Yeah, and man. Actually, it, it, no would, it would be a good episode of Gomer Pyle, you know, considering... It'd be a rock and roll. The Airbrush 10. Episode. You missed the big Frisbee war last night? Well, there was one. People, thousands of Frisbees this in the air. And, and I, I guess once the people saw live on stage they started to reminisce maybe flashback as they started throwing mud well you know what interesting 94 there was no mud for live it didn't rain until the following day so you didn't get hit mud in 94 no. uh, but I did today so I felt like I was kind of in the in crowd now. where'd you get hit the, I got hit sort of right there in that but, my, but I was playing acoustic guitar so it just just splashed all over the guitar and saved me saved it, my, it uh, my future cup. family 
You know, while you were pointing to that region, I was trying to look elsewhere, and I noticed your shirt, Students for Free Tibet. I just, I just imported this shirt from the Students for Free Tibet booth out there, and I thought it was pretty beautiful. The so monks I, are here. They are? Yes. That's fantastic. I actually uh, I had a beer and talked about Louisiana with someone called uh, Subba. Subba. I, I wouldn't doubt I that. I feel bad I can't pronounce his name. I wouldn't doubt that. I mean, it's the when, you're thing. when you're meditating as much as those guys, you're so free and so open. I'm sure they party like... Nobody's business. The original Woodstock, it was peace, love, and music. Do you have a personal slogan for Woodstock 99? Um, wow. Oh, man, you caught me off guard. Hold on, I got to think. We, we, we can come back to you on Monday. Are you going to meditate now? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to think Are we going to end up talking about Louisiana if you meditate? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> New Orleans. All right. Um, Ed from Live. I, I got a slogan. Oh, I was waiting. I thought you were stalling. I was trying to help you no, out. No, no, no. I, don't, I, I, can get, I can come up with one on the fly right here like now. I would be peace, love, music, painted breast. 1999, let it shine to the ends of the world and back. I can't rhyme no more. Good enough. Ed back around again. Wonderful. And here we go. New live record. October 5th. Woohoo! You got it. Woodstock 99. We're backstage in a tent. Ed from live. I'm Cousin Ed.